this video i'm going to show you guys how i made a little over 300 dollars in a matter of seconds using my trading and investing strategy so a number of you guys have messaged me asking me just to go through an example of how this kind of process works and you know if you're just starting out what to kind of look for so what we're going to do is we're going to go into step two and step three and show you guys an example of a trade that I placed yesterday um, and walk you guys through how I was able to make over $300 and what I'll be doing with that $300. So again, if you guys aren't familiar in the last video, which I'll link to below and in the top right corner, which outlines the kind of blueprint of my strategy. So after you've funded your account and again that primarily initially will be coming from your main income source after all your costs and your expenses are kind of paid for whether that's a hundred a week 200 a week a thousand a month whatever that figure is um you can still use this blueprint whatever the dollar amount that you're going to be investing into your trading account the next step is to find quality companies below their intrinsic value so intrinsic value is what is the worth of a company and there's kind of two ways to kind of do this you can either use a multiple of a company's earnings or you can take a multiple of a company's free cash flow and what we're going to do is we're going to use meta as a classic example of a stock that currently i don't own any shares in meta i sold all my shares a few months ago um and where I'm currently looking to own at least 100 shares of Meta at a price. And we'll walk through this kind of process. So firstly, we needed to identify Meta uh, is currently trading below its intrinsic value. So year to date, uh, Meta is currently trading at 163.94, which is over 50% down just year to date. That's not even from its all time highs. It's, that's just year to date. And like I mentioned, we're going to be using an earnings valuation and a free cash flow valuation. So from an earnings valuation perspective, um, I like to use, <coughs> sorry, I like to use the OGT intrinsic value indicator. So it's my own indicator that I've created completely free for trading view. There's a link somewhere in the top right corner and down below to understand how that all works. And um, but what it effectively does, it looks at and projects out the fair value over the next five years of a company that currently has positive earnings. And again, I'm not going to go into it in this video, but what you can see over here with the current uh, inputs that I've set. And again, I've set very conservative inputs. I've set that their earnings growth will increase by 10 percent every single year, which for Meta, if you look at the history of 20, 30, 40 percent uh, yearly compounded earnings growth, that is a fairly low number. Right. So even in that low assumption number, it puts the intrinsic value of Meta at one hundred and ninety eight dollars and forty five cents. And as you can see, Meta is trading. Um, <clears throat> it's down a bit by pre-market as well to 161.16 currently at the time of recording. So it's below its intrinsic value of my low assumption. I actually think the fair value is somewhere around the 268. But again, you can just sh see how much it's there. And you can see that, you know, it's near its COVID lows of 137. So <clears throat> it's not far off its COVID lows as well. So you can just see the bull run it had in 2021, um, you know, the bear run it's having in 2022. So <clears throat> I think it's undervalued from an earnings perspective. And again, if we look at a free cash flow valuation, again, same inputs. This is from Guru Focus, absolutely free. I'll link to the discounted cash flow calculator on there. And again, I've got videos on this. Um, looking at the free cash flow section, assuming that their free cash flow increases by 10% every single year, which is way below its historical average, it's showing a fair value of $246 with, again, the share price at 163, 161 pre-market. So 
you can see here that in both earnings and free cash flow, we are <coughs> significantly down on its intrinsic value. So I quite like this price. So if we go back to here, we are at a position now where we have identified a company that is trading below its intrinsic value, right? So, and again, I believe in the meta business model. We're not even pricing in the metaverse and how big that's going to be because we're in such a risk off environment. No one's even looking at that at this point in time. So that's where we are at point two. Now, <coughs> to sell puts and to sell options, you need, you know, in this example, around $160 per share, 100 shares, you need about $16,000. If you're on margin, you'll need a lot less than that. But let's assume for a second you're on a cash account and you're not on margin, you need $16,000. So a lot of people don't have $16,000. So the recommendation is, and again, this is not financial advice, that if you believe in what I've just said, then you should be, you know, whatever the 100, 200, 1000 a month, whatever money you got in your account, you are dollar cost averaging into Meta until you get to 100 shares. So that is if you've got if you haven't got 16,000 uh, inside your account, that's what you do. What I've been doing uh, again, I do have 16,000. I'm also on margin, so I'm not going to use the whole of the 16,000. Um, I then decided to sell options on Meta. And in this particular example, I actually rolled an option and I'll walk you through rolling that option uh, in uh, right now. So you can see here, here's a screenshot of, of the trade that I took. So what I first do is because I already had a put option, I sold a put option uh, a few weeks ago. What I decided to do is <coughs> I decided to do what's called rolling down my option because I had my strike price or my put price. Uh, for July 15th, so next week <coughs> was um, $165. And as we can see pre-market, it's at 161 So I was currently uh, in the money, right? So what I decided to do is I decided to buy back that option for $7.35 per share. So times by 100, I paid $735. But at, simultaneously at the same time, and as you can see with the times of this trade, is it bought back the 165 put. And then I went out by another couple of weeks till the end of July and sold the 160 put. Right. So I bought the 165 for 730 and I sold the July 29th 160 put for $10.55 per share, which is a 1500 uh, uh, dollars credit so my total net credit of this trade is i gained just over a thousand i paid 735 which netted me a 320 dollars gain put directly into my brokerage account now the reason why i placed this trade is i want to reduce my risk even though i'm quite happy owning a hundred um uh, shares of meta at 165 and when i placed the trade at 165 you know it was trading around the 170 175 mark at the time so meta has fallen so um i had the opportunity to roll the option uh, and reduce my strike by five dollars so reducing my exposure so even though it's gone down pre-market to 161 i'm still out the money I'm not bothered if I was in or out the money and I probably will be in the money at some point because we still got some time. We've got around a month left of this option uh, to go. Um, but I thought this was a good trade is to get a positive net credit of $320 to increase out the option by a, by what's that, a couple of weeks. So for two weeks worth of you know, option premium to get an extra 320 in my pocket and we take risk off the table from 165 to 160. So I thought overall it was the right trade for me to do. And looking about how it's open pre-market, you know, it was looks like it could be the right trade. I'm quite happy to own Meta at 160 or 165 because if we go back to here, we've got fair value at 198 and 246, right? But the question then becomes is how low can Meta go? Could Meta go to 100? That's fine if it goes to 100 and I own it at 160. But if I can keep, as Meta goes down, 
if I can keep rolling my option to 155, 150, 150, however low it goes and still pick up net credits, I will do that trying to get it as low as I possibly can while making money along the way. Right. So that's quite important. So that's basically what I've done here. Steps one, two and three. So I've sold that put option or rolled a put option, picked up three hundred and twenty dollars net credit, which then goes back into my account, which then once I find and once I have other quality companies, PayPal is another classic example. I own 100 shares of PayPal at one hundred dollars. Uh, P Y P L and um, ignore these uh, the uh, this bit because again these the inputs are based on uh, are based on Meta so I'll get rid of that for now. Um, you can see now it's trading below its COVID lows. It's now at you know seventy dollars, right? Uh, so I'm down by you know thirty percent. But I've been selling covered calls on this, which again is the um, which is this element over here. Um, but what I could do is I could take that $320 and dollar cost average and buy, so what's that? Uh, 320 divided by uh, 70, pick up four and a half shares of PayPal. That again will reduce my cost basis down and I'm cost averaging down to kind of get somewhere in between here or where my, where my cost basis is. So that's what I mean by how you how this method works what this method does is is it runs as a cycle so i'm now dollar cost averaging in i do have i am still selling puts around the 65 mark on paypal to lower my cost basis um but that's not to say if i didn't have that additional 6500 to dollar cost average in by selling another put on paypal I could then use the premium I've made from the Facebook trade to go and buy shares into PayPal to reduce my dollar cost averaging. And this is how the system works because we are in a downtrend. Most most accounts are down. My account is down. But this allows me to still make money and dollar cost average into my current positions. And if you want to understand a lot more about this, again, there's a... Uh, there's a video on this and also there's a video on my OGT Almanac, which gives you this whole trading strategy in written form. It's got a lot of resources and about options trading. So make sure you check that when I get out absolutely free. Subscribe and go to the community tab and I shall see you guys in the next video.